There's something. Oh, I see it. I see you. How do I get? Oh, it's you. Come here, you. Okay. Let's see, because you're gonna take me. I need to get above the trees. How do I get above the trees? Yes! Oh! Perfect! I think that's... I think, except for those two down south... It's everything. Okay, because I got all... I got all those maps. Oh, the map is done. All the portals are done. All the memories are done. So the question is, do I try and go figure out those two? Or do I go fish? Because that's really all that's left. We've got a good half hour, so let's see. Um, I cannot teleport to you, but I can teleport to you. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can figure these two out. Try this again. We we had a hard time with these two last session. Not able to figure out how to get where they were at because they were way the way stinking up there yes please okay because they're right like over the middle which is crazy I did a lot of stuff to get me up there but there's apparently multiple path things okay, it's not that one Okay. Get you out of the way. That's not this thing. Okay, let's ignore you for the moment. But I did this one. And... Oh! Okay, because they are like way, and you bouncy dudes are everywhere. Is it? Is that one of them? Yeah, that's one of them. Is how? Okay, first off, I got to figure out how to get on this platform. There's the shark. Don't want to deal with the shark. Maybe something over here. Somehow, okay, because that one takes me way over there. All right, let's get you out of the way. Okay, what? Let's see what these, where these come from. That ramp. Okay. I have a good feeling about this one. I have a good feeling about this ramp here. Yes. I have a good feeling about this. Yes. Okay. There's one. So we got one left. Hole. That platform is way up there. And that is the... I bet that's the one I need. Holy crud. Okay, because that one looks like it's... Actually, that one looks like it's way over there, so that might not be what I need. It might. Oh, you got that guy flying around. That guy's not nice. He's, he's actually rather rude. <sighs> okay. Okay, so there is something. Where do you lead? Because I feel like I was up there. 
Alright, so that's where that stuff leads. Let me go over here again. Actually follow this again. Maybe that was something I missed. Oh wait, no, that doesn't take me that doesn't take me up there. What gets me way up there then? These? Okay. This is it. We're about to go on a long ride. Whoa, hello. That's not how that's supposed to happen. Okay, that's how it's supposed to work. Okay. Okay, that... Okay, so that is not the way to go. Darn it. Yes, hello, I don't care about you. Okay. So that one... Wait a minute. Okay, camera. Can you not? Can you just let me take control? Wait a minute. Nope, that's not it either. Okay. Hold on. Because it should be like, yeah, it's, it's how? It's that thing right there. How do I get to that thing? All right, so it looks like you... Maybe? This one? No, it's not that one. No, because I did... Wait a minute. Oh... This one is not nice. No, go away. I don't want to deal with you. Go away. We're not playing your game. I don't want to play. Okay. Oh, there's... Wait. Okay, there's target things. But I need to be able to get launched way up, way up there. But you're coming from that direction. So that doesn't help. Okay, so there's a there's a thing there. Okay. Great. How do I get to you? Oh, there's a platform there. Hello, guys. How's it going? I don't care. Here we go. Here we go. Feeling good. This is a ramp. Okay. This has got to be it. This has got to be it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Uh, X. Yeah, because this is not familiar. That was fast. Oh. Hello. Yes! Oh, finally! Alright. That's it. Okay. Here, I got your babies. Alright. Uh, we're still working on speed. <sighs> okay, that was the last of them. So, really, we just got the fishing to finish off, and then... 
I can go talk to Knuckles and set this thing off, which we will probably do next stream. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to finish, or I'm going to level up, and then we'll go fishing, and I'll end the stream with some fishing. See what kind of crazy stuff we catch this time. All right. Okay, that was it for you. And then the Hermit Coco. Okay, let's warp. Uh, let's just warp to you. Since you've got some level ups for me. Okay. Oh, leveled up twice. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, nope, nothing else. Excellent. And now we will warp and go fishing. Just have a nice chill time to finish the stream off. Sounds good to me. Uh, okay, where are we at? Oh. I'm in the shadows. I couldn't see myself. All right. Meet up with Big the Cat. Play just a nice, nice, calming, relaxing. Love the music. We're just going to chill for the moment. Would you like to try? Would you like to try? Yes, I would. All right, let's go over here. I can hardly see the fish on this one, though. Let's see. Okay. Boop. Boop. Fish time. Ooh, I got a chest. I'll take a chest. Gold cards are nice. Yes. I gotta remember what fish I started with on this, too, so when the cycle repeats, I know I'll be done. Alright, got that one. Boom. Is that a tuna? It's a tuna! That's a big tuna for that little pond. Alright, I see fish over there. Alright, just nice, chill. Here we go. Boom, boom. Yes, we got the other scroll. Not that it matters now. Unless he's closer to Knuckles than the uh, hermit. Which he could be. Hmm. Boop. An octopus. Okay, then. Six tokens, that's cool. Yeah, they put so much, you just never know what you're going to be pulling up here. A poison dot frog. Two tokens. All right, very nice. Boop. Uh, Madaka. Okay, I think we've repeated the cycle, because I swear I've got that one already. But we'll get a couple more, because I want to get some more tokens. So we can, um, listen to some of more Eggman's logs. A seahorse! I like how he's holding the string, like, above his head. Like it wrapped around his head or something. I guess just holding it right here, not by that. And boop. 
A sunfish, yeah. So we, we've done the cycle, but... Like I said, I want some tokens. Or some cards, gold cards. Do you enjoy fishing? Have you ever been fishing? Chomper. Chomper, excuse me. I used to go fishing. I enjoy fishing. I just haven't been fishing in years. Just hasn't um, been a good time to do it. Oh, I messed that one up. Dang. I wouldn't mind going fishing again. You have not, but you've seen other people fish. Okay. Nice. Another gold card. It's, I mean, it depends on what kind of fishing you do, too. Because if you do, like, ocean blue marlin fishing, like, that's a whole nother ballgame. I've never done anything like that. I've just done lake fishing where you're looking for, like, bass or trout. And, uh, or catfish or something. A giant isopod. Honestly, I don't remember that one. So maybe I haven't caught everything. Um, but we've been out on a boat fishing from off the boat. I fished from off the shore, uh, growing up. My dad liked fishing, so we used to go. We had a boat a while ago, but had to sell it. Mostly because it wasn't getting used. And we needed some money. There we go. You were on a sea fishing boat once as a kid, but all you remember is that you got really seasick and did not enjoy it. Yeah, that could really um, dampen the whole experience for sure. Thankfully, that is one thing I've never really had an issue with. Seasickness or motion sickness. Until I went to L.A. Like the smog in L.A. or something. I don't know. But something about it just... Messed up my system. My uncle lived uh, near L.A. for a while and went to visit him. And I like amusement parks, so roller coasters and things like that never bothered me. But, man, when I went down there and we went to Six Flags, I couldn't do a whole lot. I got sick. It was bad. I think it was the smog. Just threw my system out of whack. So, yeah, that's not fun. Ooh, it's a good one. Is it a gold chest? That's mostly what I want is a gold chest. Okay, well, that's three gold cards. I'd still like to get a gold chest. You don't get motion sick too much. It used to happen more often, but not so much nowadays. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Barracuda. That's a nasty fish right there. That'll tear you up. And boom. A coelacanth. It's just a crazy looking fish right there. All right, let's try over here. There we go. And boom. A goldfish. Just a little goldfish. Used to have fish. When I was a kid, I wanted to get a lizard. My dad wouldn't go for it, so we got fish instead. I know some people really like their fish. It's the most useless pet ever. Just sits in the corner. You can't do anything with them. I don't know. It's a red spring.
And hey, if you like fish, if you have fish, that's cool. But I don't think I'd ever get fish again. I just don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Although we did have, it was really cool. We got a lobster, blue lobster one time as part of the tank, but then we got a different breed. That, an ore fish, that's fascinating. Um, we got this one kind of fish that was just super aggressive and ended up, A, killing all the other um, creatures, non its species in the fish tank, including the lobster. Oh, I messed that one up. Lost my focus. And then um, uh, multiplied like crazy, so we ended up with tons of them. Used to have a beta fish as a kid, didn't really know how to take good care of it back then, so it died, yeah. And some of them can be very temperamental, that's for sure. I think when we finally got rid of the fish, um, the our high school had a big old fish tank. And we donated ours to the high school. Another coelacanth. That's a different color. Interesting. So they come in different colors. Huh. I didn't expect that. Um, yeah. Um, so it was cool that they took our fish and then we just got rid of all the supplies and stuff and it was just like, yeah, that was... I don't know. A squid. Okay, am I not going to get a gold chest? I'm about to just... Uh, well, we still have a lot of time, though. You want to try owning a beta again? Okay, there we go. Uh, but this time in a proper big tank where it can actually live comfortably. Yeah, that is one thing is I've seen people with betas and they have just this tiny little tank and I feel kind of feel bad for the fish. Gee, they need space. Gorame. All right. Kind of a neat looking one. Oh. Hmm. Another is a striped sunfish. Okay. Huh. Uh, both betas and goldfish keep getting put in tanks way too small for them, and it's just so sad to see. Yeah. Like, we didn't have a small tank. Um, this is pretty decent size. I don't remember how many gallons it was. But it was definitely decent size. It's just that one. Uh, uh, Species of fish just took over. Gold chest! Yes, thank you. Okay. Let's back off and see what kind of goodies we can get with all of our stuff. Okay. Uh, first... Oh, wow. So a lot of stuff is sold out. But we will get... Alright, so what is new here? Okay, so the octopus. This eight-legged mollusk is considered a delicacy by some. Like squid, when threatened, it shoots out ink that temporarily paralyzes the senses of its natural enemy, the moray eel. Which I think we've also gotten, so. The crab, an aquatic crustacean, though known for its sideways walk and sharp claws, some species are adept at moving forward and backward or swimming. The oarfish, a fish with a very long body, its striking appearance may have inspired tales of legendary sea creatures. Tuna, a fish renowned for its delicate flavor. All parts of its body can be used in cuisine, and in some cases, it is even eaten raw. Generally, the more oily cuts fetch the highest prices. Okay. Sunfish, a massive, flat-bodied fish. It can grow close to 10 feet in length, though it is more delicately built than it appears. The juvenile sunfish has a star-shaped appearance that looks nothing like an adult. Huh. Did not know that. Let's see. Anything else? Giant isopod, a deep sea creature resembling an insect. It lives in the ocean depths untouched by light. Its efficient metabolism enables it to survive without food for years, even af after even a modest meal. That's cool. Yep, there's the moray. Right. 
A uh, small chopper. Oh, I didn't even realize we had two different sizes. A small chopper. It's made of metal like its larger counterpart, but the bone-like pieces are more delicate. A golden coelacanth. Oh, so we got a golden one. Fascinating. A coelacanth with a golden sheen. Though very beautiful, it's not suited to home aquariums. As the flashes of light would keep everyone up at night. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what else is new? Did that. Okay, so we got both the scrolls. Excellent. Uh, let's trade some tokens. First off, we have six of these we can get. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, right now... I can get so many of these. Okay, where am I at? 13 to 31. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. And one more. Leaves me with nine. Works for me. Okay, so let's check out some of these egg memos. So we have, we've been up to, all right, here we go. I have Sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients, and then against archives I have with me. They are relatives of Chaos, the god of destruction. After countless years, their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. Some kind of radiation affected them for eons, making them unrecognizable. Except to a genius like me. Okay, so that one we left bad time. So chaos was the big bad kind of of uh, Sonic Adventure One. So that's fascinating. I'm deploying my most advanced artificial intelligence into the ancient network spanning the Starfall Islands. I've codenamed it Sage. Sage will take over the alien network, take control of all its resources, and give them to me. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I love whoever's voicing Eggman now. Um, that's, that's, he's doing a really great job. I love that. So say, so he was created. She was created by Eggman then. Interesting. Age is performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients Network, but she's harassing Sonic as well. Yes, she is. Sounds like he's having fun with it. Oh, man. It absolutely. You can definitely tell that in his voice. Sage can't seem to control the Titans. Bowie. She can prompt them to act, but something is blocking her from assuming total control. Hmm. Sage keeps running the numbers by me, and it's getting tedious. Yes, the power that wiped out ancients was formidable. Yes, unleashing it on this world would be catastrophic. <laughs> But I'm a genius. Once I'm out of here, I'll find a way to handle it. Better yet, weaponize it against Sonic. Yeah, he. This voice actor definitely gets into the role. He understands the character. I love it. It's great. Sage has been crucial to my survival here in cyberspace. Early warnings of hostile entities, guiding me past firewalls, keeping me updated on progress in the real world. She, she's the best. She, it's a bit. It's a program, uh, an adorable program, a very personable program, uh, a, uh, hmm. I wonder if she has a preference. Ah, okay. I never really knew my cousin, Maria. Everyone spoke of her like she was very special. All that love for someone who was gone when I was right there. But I have to wonder, back then, was she anything like Sage is now? So Maria is from Sonic Adventure 2, um, and she had this bad disease, and there was a lot of stuff that happened, but she grew up with Shadow, who came along, who was supposed to, who was created as a way to hopefully 
use his DNA or something. I'm not really sure to try and find a cure for her. And it didn't go well. And it, it, it was a bad thing. But um, but that's interesting. So now they're referencing Sonic Adventure 2. For a program, I mean, it's not like she's alive or family or. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Guess I can't create life, huh? With a bunch of proteins bumping together, anyone can do that. The true genius does it with code and electrons. And if I did create life, she would be brilliant and loyal and perfectly effective. And you know why? Because her dad is a genius. That's why. He's really building some kind of relationship with Sage. That's kind of cute, Sonic's actually. On the of course, Sonic is on the island. I can't remember the last time I had a good night's sleep without him ruining it. Still, for a purely organic creature, obtaining Mach 1 of his own volition is impressive. I'm man enough to admit that. Egg Dad, yeah, I like that. Uh, a good night's scheme. Okay, so that's all I've unlocked so far. All right. Cool. So we got all that. Um, I just got a whole bunch of upgrade stuff. So let's go back to the island, get the upgrades. Um, we're just we're gonna be just a few minutes early, but we are gonna end this as soon as I get those upgrades, and then I'll make my way over next to Knuckles. We'll save there, and then next session we will talk to Knuckles, probably kick off the final boss, and uh, make our way to the next island since we've got everything collected here. At least, and I'm assuming I've collected all the fish because I had a few repeats, so. The first island, it, it's cycled over almost exactly like it did the first time I... Uh, my, like, the catches were, I think, exactly as I got them before. Um, in the same order, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So... Let's find an elder. No, not an elder. Yep, right there. Okay, so we'll just pick you. Whoop there. All right, man. Give me my upgrades. See what level I'm going to be at with all those that I just bought. 62 to 73. Right on. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, and Knuckles is that way. Uh, nothing else for me, thanks. Go ahead, go back to sleep. All right. Knuckles! No, go away. Camera? I don't care about him. All right. Oh, and we'll get this treasure while we're here. Why not? Not like we really needed that. Since we're pretty much done. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to kick off the last of it. So let's uh, save. There we go. We are almost 18 hours into this. That's insane. Okay, but that's it. All right. Uh, yep, so let's go back to title. And get back over here. All right, so um, that was a lot of fun. We got a lot done. This island's nearly done. We just got the last bits of story, fight the, the final titan, and then solve the final puzzle, and then we should be on our way to the next island. We're still looking to try and find Tails um, to see where he uh, ended up because we were because we came with Amy and Tails. We're still not sure. I mean, Knuckles kind of made his way over there himself. So, um, but we have what should be three more islands, from what I understand. Um, so we're gonna find Tails, and then I don't know who else we're gonna find. Maybe Shadow, maybe Rouge. Who knows? I don't know who else we're gonna find. So, um, but that was it. That was fun. Thank you uh, once again for joining, and um, we will keep going. Of course, uh, Tuesday. 
we're going to start a whole new game. Choo Choo Charles, looking forward to that one. Yeah. And uh, um, and then uh, Armello again on Thursday. So have a great day. Thanks for the great night. Um, anyone else watching, whatever time it is, good day, good evening, good night, good afternoon. Um, we will catch you next time. Take care and may God bless.